Monte, Blaine Taylor here, uh, catching up with you, and uh, I greatly admire what happened your first five years building the program at a time when the CAA was so strong, and then the 18, 19, 25, regular season champs, postseason champs, all the basketball stuff has been chronicled. You know, first of all, let me ask you some questions away from the court. What's probably the greatest achievement or thing you're most proud of away from basketball? Being supportive of my wife as she raises our two kids. And I say supportive because she does it all. And one of the best pieces of advice I got was before I got married, somebody told me, give her the house. And that's what I've done. I give her the house. I don't you know, make decisions on drapes, on curtains, on bed linen, on carpet, on paint, or anything. And I hope I'm being supportive enough. Let me ask you some, some humble questions. Sometimes guys answer these questions differently. Do you mow your own lawn? No. Do you wash your own car? No. Do you cook? Yes. <laughs> yes. Do you Every like once in a while, I do put toast in the toaster. Well, now, nah, looking at you, I know you like to shop. Are you a shopper now? I do like to Are shop. That's man? one thing that my wife does not do for me. She does not shop for me. I, do, I love to shop. I love to shop. You know, talking about some of the things you do with your time away and your kids and stuff, I think one of the things that's misunderstood sometimes about coaching and family is holidays. Tell me about Thanksgiving and Christmas. Maybe a good one, a bad one, some of the stuff that happens as a result of coaching. Well, that's one of the drawbacks, I think, with coaching is Thanksgiving and Christmas fall right in the midst of your season. So I don't get an opportunity to spend time with my extended family. I think I miss out on a lot of things because there's that, there's another tape to watch, there's another DVD to watch, there's another practice to uh, attend. And, and, and a lot of times it's around those holidays where, you know, I, I do get an opportunity to spend time with my immediate family, Michelle, Justin, and Lauren, but my extended family who are all in the area for the most part, I don't get an opportunity to do that. And that's one of the things that I think uh, I really miss and I'm probably very negligent on. Success. Vince Lombardi said winning isn't the only thing, it's everything. I've never really thought winning was the complete answer to success. How do you answer in one sentence what success is? I think taking a journey and not allowing yourself to get to the destination. I think working your tail off to always want what's out there. Uh, never being complacent and never being satisfied is how I view it. That was a long sentence, wasn't it? <laughs> That's what coaches do. You got time to fill, man. You got those NC2A timeouts, two and a half minutes, man. And, you got to you, you got too much time. I told my guy, you know what's funny about that? NCAA tournament, it was, it was a thrill, obviously, to go this year. But man, I told my guys, I'm like, yo, we were in one huddle, Blaine, and I gave them everything I had. And I told them, I said, look, fellas, I'm going to be real honest with you. I got nothing else. These timeouts are too long, and they just start busting out laughing. Yeah, and those timeouts, you tell jokes you haven't told for years. How about but, that? Uh, <laughs> but anyway, Monte, thanks for your time, and as always, best of luck, my friend. Thanks, Blaine. It was a lot of fun, man.